This is a tutorial on how to flash your Viking sleeper if it comes with the 3.5 millimeter jack option. First thing we want to do is power off the controller. Easiest way to do that is just to pull the battery pack. And while powering, we want to hold down the sync button here while powering up the controller. You'll see LED 3 and LED 4 turn off pretty fast. That means the controller is in programming mode. We'll just set that aside for now. Go ahead and surf to the website. Hit up the downloads page and uh, pick the game that you want to like to flash your controller for. And because we're programming a sleeper, be sure to scroll down to the list of sleeper game presets. And uh, we'll just pick uh, COD5 here with sniper mode. Right click and save as. And uh, save that on your desktop so it's easy to find. And we're all done with the web browser window. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what's happening next. Go ahead and find that file that you saved on your desktop. There it is. Open it up with uh, WinRAR. And uh, you'll see two files in there. One file is the HID bootloader software. The other file is a hex code. That's the uh, rapid fire code. So just drag those to your desktop. Go ahead and open the HID bootloader now. And you'll see it says device not detected, so we are ready to uh, plug in our controller to the PC. Go ahead and plug the uh, other end of your 3.5 millimeter cable into your PC right now. And uh, grab the controller, it's still in programming mode. And uh, go ahead and just put the jack in. And if we look at the HID bootloader software, we can see that uh, it says device detected, so we are ready to program. Go ahead and open hex file, surf to your desktop, and pick that uh, rapid fire code that you, that you put on your desktop earlier. Click on program verify. It's going to do its thing pretty quickly. And the message we want to be sure that you get there at the end is completed successfully. And that means your controller's been flashed. The last thing we'll do is click on reset device. And uh, go ahead and unplug your controller and you are all done flashing. You can see the LED 4 light is on now. The rest of the lights are blinking because I haven't synced this to my Xbox. So you will want to power up your Xbox, hold down the sync button on your Xbox, hold down the sync button on this controller, it will sync up. But uh, you can see we're all uh, we're good to go here for COD5.